Okay, so dating the Taurus woman, right? So let me let me begin by saying this for the Taurus women on the channel who you know have pointed out, you know, Benjamin, you got something against the Taurus woman, or you have something with the Taurus woman, or you have you know you you have some type of resentment towards the, t the Taurus woman. Now, to a degree, yes, that is true. Like I'm not going to lie to you, that is true, but not as harshly as you see it. And you see. I can begin this video by stating that, and this is not all of you Taurus women on the channel, please understand that I do acknowledge that a lot of you do hear the great things that I say about you. Um, and even some of you also admit the stuff that I say that is just like, wow, it's kind of foul, or, or it just needs some work is pretty much what I'm saying, right? But let me explain to you why when you do hear me having some types of conflictions with Taurus women, and this is why things that I've learned while dating the Taurus woman, right? So first you need to know that it's deeper when it comes to me and Taurus women because I've spent so much time dating Taurus women. I've spent more intimate moments, what I would call intimate moments because of the environment, because of, um, yeah, the time. Because, you know, you have sometimes no alternative but to adapt the gradual style of a Taurus when you're around them. That's what they do. Like their aura like pushes off on you. It's, it's very hard to like ignore that. It's true. So, okay, granted, spending time with each other and again, the environment sets the mood to be in a comfortable setting. So what this does is it allows a Pisces man to open up, you know what I mean? Or at least be receptive to the fullest, right? Because we're receptive people, water signs, Earth signs are supposed to be too. They are, but I'm going to make my point. Give me when I believe that when I tell you, right? So, all right. The reason why I have this challenge when it comes to Taurus women, or you may see me say this, and then next time I'm saying that, which is opposite of nice, and then I'm being mean, and it's because these conversations that I have with Taurus women, a lot of the times, and this is a recurring theme that I notice with Taurus women, is they will seek some type of advice or opinion and then when you give it to them they don't apply it you know what i'm saying and what not only that it's that they may do the total opposite or they may even you know sulk in the part of how it didn't work or if they did the opposite how that didn't work and then they'll come back to me they'll come back to me and talk about it again. So I, before I made a mistake, right? I mentioned somewhere that Aquarius. The only thing I don't really like too much about Aquarius is that they repeat conversation and becomes redundant. And I made a mistake. So I apologize to all Aquarius women. First of all, right. Second of all, I made a mistake because this one particular incident that I was talking about, this woman was an Aquarius. However, she had a Taurus ascendant. She was a Taurus ascendant. So this is applied to Taurus energy because the Taurus sons do it repeatedly to me. All right. And if the Taurus moons are about to do it, then listen, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to check you, too, when it happens. Right. When it occurs. But nah, for real. Right. Listen, when this happens, this makes me feel like a dumping ground. And it doesn't even make me feel like I am a dumping ground. I become their dumping ground. And it's like, how dare you, you know, set up and support this environment for me to be in a comfortable space with you enough to be receptive to your issues, right? And then when I respond to you, you don't apply it. Or for whatever reason, you did something opposite of that. And then you have the audacity to come back and talk to me about it again. So you think that we're going to have this conversation again and again and again, and you are in the same depressive down mood that you were the first time that we spoke about it? You're not going to drag me down with you in that type of predicament, in that type of feeling, in that type of mood, in that type of environment. So, and this is could be can be a lesson for some of you Taurus women who responded to me having something against Taurus women, right? Now it's said in the Zodiac Wheel in the books that I've studied that Tauruses are pessimists. Um said that about Pisces as well. So trust me when I tell you I've worked on myself a lot to see that and I've actually taken the personality test and I've scored like a fifty five, but now I'm like above that now because I've worked on myself. Taurus women, some Taurus women out there, y'all can learn from this that 
look, if you approach this thing with a pessimistic attitude or if you have this attitude that, you know, that can never work because this is the reality of things or whatever the case may be, then you're going to be stuck in that position. And the people who would like you and love you are going to wisen up and they're going to distance themselves from you. So lately, right, that's what I've been experiencing with the Taurus woman in dating situations. Like today I was just looking at... um a social media platform and I was so close to calling this Taurus that, you know, I dealt with it. And I kid you not, right? Like I was in denial and she told me this. She's like, you know, I was in denial that I was actually dating this Taurus woman. And I was like the type of interactions that we were having with each other. They weren't like every other interaction that I had as much as I speak about business. And I I, I pretty much forced that on most women that I deal with. This Taurus woman just had the ability to like soften me a bit when it came to that. You know what I'm saying? Like I forget about business and I'd just be like having regular conversation with her and even sometimes find myself having a good time. However, the reason why I could not call her again is because I knew what I had in store. You understand what I'm talking about? I knew that there could be a potential repeating of a conversation that we've had before. And then it'd just be like, really? We're we're doing this again? You know what I'm saying? We're talking about this again? Like, how you look at me? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's not only disrespectful to me, it's disrespectful to yourself. Because how, where do you see growth at? Where do you, and, and, and why do you feel the need to pull and just, and it's, it's very selfish. This is what I get from dating towards women now. It's very selfish. So, of course, part one, you know, I was very fluffy about my experiences with the Taurus woman. And, and I should have been because it's the, it's the break-in intro of dating Taurus woman, right? So why not? I really reflected back onto um younger years when i've dated taurus women which i think were more great because now let me tell you what happens now when i'm dating taurus women it's like i speak from spirit when i speak to taurus women and taurus women are interacting on a heavily earthy type of tone right so again with the whole spiritual stuff i get the indication that it's taurus women that i'm dating anyway are not that spiritually inclined as I am. And I don't mean all of them. Some of them, others are. Um, But the ones, even if they are spiritually inclined, I guess the solar sign being inside of the sign of Taurus just overrides that spirituality to where they get back into this rut. Right? So I'm speaking from real pure spirit. And I heard in a biblical reference, right? (laughs) Not the reference to the Bible, but sometimes I do this. You know what I'm saying? But they said, um, you know, don't ever deny the, the Holy Spirit. Like, that's a cardinal rule in Christianity, right? Don't ever deny the Holy Spirit. Like, that's like the Trump top rule. So, you know, in my travels, I learned to how to interpret that in a spiritual sense. And so when I say I speak to Taurus women from spirit, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but if you look at like the... Um, Egyptian hieroglyphics that are on the pyramids and stuff like that and some of their teachings and their readings, you'll see like these pictures of women summoning serpents and like dragons and stuff like that, sea serpents and stuff like that, right? So this is how I look at myself in a lot of in a lot of ways because they did this back in the days because they were having difficulty on earth and they needed a different type of approach on on the way to handle it, right? So this is pretty much the earth signs or the earth element rather. Um summoning the spiritual, the Scorpios, the Pisces, the Cancers to the earth to come up with some type of, you know, solution to the problems that they were facing on earth. You understand what I'm talking about? So I look at myself in that regard when I'm talking to Taurus women. So it's my duty, it's my responsibility to speak to the way, speak to them the way that I do. So if I have to get angry, if I have to get upset and say, yo, listen, This is occurring because this, this is happening because this, and this is continuing to happen because you're not applying this, you're not applying that. And a lot of this comes from me understanding, right, that right now in the current times, modern day times of why I I struggle with Taurus women now is because Earth is under attack by air. It doesn't have to be that way. However, Earth is under attack by air if you are not aware of the signs and you're not training yourself how to participate with this air energy. So what I mean by that is this. A lot of the times, Taurus women, they can be very to themselves and closed in. And don't get me wrong, I like this about them. You know, they're sturdy. They're just like, but they're so selfish and stubborn that they can be like, yo, 
I don't really care about whatever all of them are doing or what they're doing. I rely on myself. And when it all comes down to it, I can take care of myself. I take care of my family. I take care of my kids. I take care of my house. My bills are paid. You know, um, my refrigerator is full. And they're like, my, 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 right? I have this. I have that. And just, I don't care about everybody else, which is cool. However, we got to understand they come from ancient logic, right? And when I mean ancient logic, it's just like the connection of human connection, humanity, human on human, village life, right? But with this air element so strong today, it's sweeping across the world. This internet thing is serious. This social media stuff is serious. Everybody's got a voice. Everybody's taking a turn now. Everybody's heard. So it's not about who you know anymore. It's about what you know now, right? So Taurus women, they live by the, the rule of old, the, the, the rule of old, you know, it's about who you know in the village, and that's how we get along, you know what I'm saying, no, 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 now air is sweeping the nation, and Taurus women don't have to find themselves paying for information now, and I know that may sound like, oh, what you think, we, we not educated, you think we not smart, or nothing like that, I'm not saying that, what I'm saying is in a lot of situations that I've experienced dating Taurus women, it's like they're not up on what's really happening with all of this communication stuff. So when I got to like pry things out of Taurus woman, that upsets me too. Because it's like, yo, why can't you just say it? Why can't you just tell me? Why are you putting up this earth element, this dam in the middle of this ocean that is coming at you that you requested to talk to? It's infuriating. You know, the reverse psychology. You know, oh, I do this to find out if he's going to do that. And then I don't do this to see how he reacts to that. So I'll know what he want here. And no, stop doing that. Because you toying around with people on a level that is, it's a low vibrating level, you know. And then you have this air element, which is a higher vibrating level coming down on the earth. And they're not playing any types of games. They're speaking with each other at a rapid pace, communicating very well with each other. And the ones that are solidifying deals based upon those interactions are moving at a rapid pace. So if you notice in my Taurus Woman video, I said, listen, besides all of the fluff, I said, listen, in modern day times, Taurus Woman needs to get with the movers and shakers to understand what it is that is happening at a rapid pace so they don't get engulfed by it. Right. Because it's not Taurus Woman is the, the, the sign the second house, a place of personal values. So people are really invading your country and stuff based upon what you attach your value to, Taurus woman. You understand what I'm talking about? So even when I come at you and I say things like, you know, you can be too materialistic, which is also a low vibrating thing, right? And at the same time, like I love fashion and I love stuff like that because that's what brings out art and beauty. Like I love art. You understand what I'm talking about? However, you got to understand the times, you're under attack by air if you're not aware of the times. You understand what I'm talking about? If you're not moving and shaking and communicating with the air to get an alignment so you're not invaded or... Because it's not... I'll tell you like this, right? It's not until t women are dated towards women. It's not until they are in a situation where money is a pressing issue. So everything in that closet and all the little trinkets don't mean nothing right then. It doesn't mean nothing. Right. They could trade that for money right in this very moment because they need some money. You know what I'm saying? So it's like and you would think that these people being so thrifty, then like Aquarius women are thrifty, too. Right. But Aquarius women would be thrifty to the extent that they are making their decisions based upon clearing out clutter and understanding what's happening right now so they can prepare for the future. Taurus women, they'll, they'll be thrifty and they get all these bargaining things and they're like, oh, well, I can get more stuff because I'm thrifty because I found it for cheap. Well, you know what I'm saying? So they just start filling up more stuff it, with their closets with more stuff and everything because they get these bargains. You understand what I'm talking about? Listen, the timing is why I address Taurus women the way that I do. And that's me dating Taurus women right now. It's almost 15 minutes. you got to understand. You, please understand. This is why I speak about Taurus women that way. This is why I chose a Virgo woman over a Taurus woman and stuff like that. Which is still challenging for me. But you got to understand. These are my experiences. These, is also, these are also my astrological understandings of this sign. So... You know, it is what it is. It was what it was, rather. You know what I mean? And that's me dating the Taurus woman, part two.